Hey folks, this is uh, Scott Carter with GatorsOn.com. I'm here with my colleague Chris Harry, and we're here to preview Tuesday night's big SEC men's basketball game here at the O-Dome between Florida and Georgia. Uh, Chris, you know, Florida went out to uh, Arkansas on Saturday, clawed back late, forced overtime, and came away with an 84-82 win, and now Georgia here at home. Both teams early in the SEC, but both teams are tied atop the SEC uh, standings. Uh, what do you uh, look for out of this game? Well, obviously the Gators have a lot of momentum coming off that win at Arkansas. I mean, they were down by seven points with five minutes to go, down by five with three minutes to go, and just persevered. And they went into the game and they were shorthanded. I mean, uh, uh, Casey Prather, leading scorer, the SEC leader in, in field goal percentage, he wasn't able to play. Uh, Patrick Young dealing with some knee tendonitis did not start. Scotty Wilbekin coming off ankle sprain against South Carolina didn't start. All this stuff going on, but as John Pelfrey pointed out after the game, Scott, there was a lot of stuff going on in the game. So they were prepared from all the stuff going on in the week to all the stuff going on in the game. And they just kind of fought through. Billy Donovan has this mantra, you got to practice to play and there's ramifications when you don't practice. Well, the ramifications were these particular two guys. They didn't get to start the game, but they came off the bench. They played pretty well, especially on offense. And the Gators came up with a really, really big win. Uh, they are now six and two in single digit games. They were 0-6 in those games last season. Impressive there. I mean, one guy who practiced and did come to play on Saturday was Dorian Finney-Smith. 22 points, 15 rebounds, I think the first player under Billy Donovan to go on the road and have a 20 point 15 rebound game and you know, it says something considering some of the players he's had here I mean how important has uh, Dorian Finney-Smith been to this club so far? Well he's been a godsend relative to to giving them some some minutes off the bench in the front court now he started that game the other day it was only a second start of the season but what the guy does is he's playing really hard and the thing that's ironic about that is they get on him at practice for not bringing the motor every play during games taking some plays off well he didn't really do a whole lot at at, at Arkansas. Billy Donovan took a little bit different tact heading into the game. He kind of tried to just tell him, you know, you're a good player. We know you're a good player. Forget about all the bad plays and just go out and fight and play and play through your mistakes. And he did that. And the guy was relentless on the glass, especially in the second half, and was really clutch for the Gators in overtime. You know, going back to the conference standings for a second, you've got Georgia Florida here tomorrow night. The only other two teams in the conference that are undefeated after what two league games are at Texas A&M and Kentucky. I mean, so in some ways it's a it's an important early season game in the in the standings. I mean, when you look at this matchup, kind of what catches your eye? Georgia is 8-0 when they out-rebound their opponents. They're 0-6 when they don't. The Gators weren't very good at all in boxing out at Arkansas. They gave up 20 offensive rebounds that led to 23 second chance points. So what they got to do is they got to rebound a whole lot better. That's a point of emphasis going into this game, along with stopping Georgia's two guards and really containing them. Gains and man, they're very good players. And at the point of attack, the Gators have to be out in front of those guys. In case you're wondering, Tuesday night at the O'Connell Center is Beard Night, a sort of a tribute to Patrick Young, one of the more popular players on the team. First thousand students that come in get one of these mock beards. Come on out and support the Gators. I'd personally rather have Patrick Young's muscles, but I'll take the beard. Uh, for Gators Own Chris, I'm uh, Gators Own Scott. We'll see you at the Odom Tuesday night.